Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm sitting down with a celebrity. That celebrity is Santi. Hey, what's up guys? Hello, I'm Santi. How you doing? This is Santi, my dad's indie car driver. So we're just gonna ask some questions and um, English and Spanish for his fans. So yeah, All stay right. tuned. Let's do it. Subscribe. <laughs> Okay, so the first question is, where are you from? I'm from Uruguay. I'm 23 years old. I'm living in Miami. Used to live here in Indianapolis. Um, I left my house when I was really young. I was like 14 years old. So yeah, I live in Europe. I live in uh, here in the United States. I live in Miami, Orlando, Indianapolis, so many places. Uh, so yeah, super happy to be in here and uh, ready to start the season. Okay, so where are you from? Soy Uruguay, tengo 23 años. Dejé mi casa a los 14 años para irme a vivir a Europa. Ahora en Estados Unidos, así que súper contento de estar acá y pronto para arrancar el campeonato. Okay, so the next question is how did you get involved in racing? Um, well, first of all, so I have to say thank you to my granddad. He gave it to me like a little motorcycle and I started racing when I was like three years old. I started racing a motocross. And then my mom said it was like too dangerous, so he just gave me like a go-kart to me when I was like five. Um, I didn't never stop racing till that day. I always just race in something uh, from where I know. Um, I did go-karts for many years, and then when I was like 15, it was the time to change for like the big cars to Formula, Formula 4 at that time in Europe. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's been many years racing in, in, in something. Uh, but the passion, honest, uh, to be honest, came from my family and I just kept the passion. So um, right now being here on the, on the step before of IndyCar racing, it's, uh, it's just crazy to think I'm from a very small country, Uruguay. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm happy, of course, to be in here and uh, to be racing and doing something that I love. Okay, so how did you get involved in racing? Arranqué a correr cuando tenía tres años, que mi abuelo me regaló una moto. A los cinco años pasé a correr en eh, karting, que mi mamá dijo que era muy peligroso. Así que bueno, ahí en ese momento nunca paré. Seguí corriendo hasta el día de hoy, que tengo 23 años. Estoy corriendo en la categoría previa a la indicar. Y bueno, la pasión la heredé de mi familia, pero yo también la tengo. Así que bueno, dispuesto a dar todo lo que sea para poder llegar a la máxima categoría. The next question is, what is your goal for this year? The goal is to win the championship. We want to win the championship and then goes to the IndyCar. We need to get the scholarship. Whoever wins the championship signs a contract with Honda and then uh, when we go directly to IndyCar. So all of the drivers, like out of the 2022 drivers, we're fighting to get that scholarship. It's not going to be easy, uh, but we have a great team. Uh, we. Um, we all want that. I hope your dad makes the car quick so we can win the races. Yeah, Tiffany's dad, which is Tim Neff, is my engineer, so he's the guy that uh, is in charge of making the setups and everything for the car. Uh, so I think it's gonna be a fun year. Uh, not easy for sure, it's never easy, but uh, super happy, honestly, to be in the position that we are right now when not having the chance to win the championship. Nosotros tenemos un gran equipo atrás, así que vamos a poner todo para ganar el campeonato. Quien sale campeón firma un contrato con Honda para ir a indicar. Así que pondremos el máximo y daremos todo para ganar ese campeonato. Tengo un gran equipo detrás, así que yo creo que va a ser un buen año eh, y daremos todo y ir para adelante para poder ganar. The next question is, what does your workout and eating schedule look like? So workout basically is a little bit for a race car driver we have to do everything. So I go bicycle, running, the crossfit, uh, the tennis, I do pretty much everything. I uh, three times a week I work like double. I do like morning and afternoon, and the other the other days I just run or just do something more easy. Um, about about the food, like we have to be very healthy for sure. Uh, we have to be in shape. The races are more than one hour, so it's not it's not easy. 
Um, the most important thing for a driver is the neck because uh, out of like one and a half hours that we're racing, like we're using the neck a lot under the brakes and the, the G force going through the corners. Um, but yeah, um, the, the the thing that I most like to do on workouts is going on a bicycle because you, we spend like three four hours and then you know you meet people and you see different places and probably on running you go with just uh, now we're for running, which also is uh, something that I don't like. But uh, yeah, uh, basically we do a lot of things to work out and the food uh, obviously has to be um, uh, something that it doesn't affect us on. Uh, on, on the rice, so we can get like French fries, we can get uh, hamburgers, we can get those uh, uh, kind of food. Um, before the rice, we normally get like a little salad with chicken or uh, just a uh, pasta, depends on the drivers. I always like to eat uh, some pasta, especially the day before. And other than that, then just drink water and just go win races. Next question is, what does your workout slash eating schedule look like? Bueno, el entrenamiento es muy variado, nosotros tenemos que entrenar en todo, tenemos que hacer un montón de entrenamiento, no una cosa específica, así que ando en bicicleta o crossfit, entreno al tenis, hago un montón de cosas. Y eh, después lo que es el tema de la comida, también nos pegamos mucho, no podemos comer papa frita, hamburguesa, algo previo en la carrera. Eh, comemos ensalada con un poco de pollo o podemos comer un poco de pasta. Eh, pero bueno, eso depende un poco de cada piloto, por lo general las carreras duran una hora y media, entonces tenemos que estar muy entrenados, tomar mucho líquido que es lo importante, eh, para después poder ganar carreras. Ok, la siguiente pregunta es, ¿cuáles son tus sueños? Mis sueños en la carrera, es definitivamente estar en la carrera en la Indy 500, que es la más importante en la carrera, es como... The, the race that everyone wants to join, the, the, the race that everyone wants to win, so, I would say, Inside racing is like winning the Indy 500. First of all, race and then win the race. And um, in my life, I just wanted to be happy and enjoy every time with friends and family. So I think that's the most important thing. But inside racing definitely would be winning the Indy 500. Okay. That's a good goal. <laughs> Next question is what are your dream dreams in racing? Eh, mis sueños son correr la 500 millas en Indianapolis, que es la carrera más importante, ganarlas, sin duda las carreras que todos quieren correr y les quieren ganar, así que ese es mi sueño dentro del automovilismo afuera, disfrutar de la vida, de los amigos, de la familia, y por ahí eh, es lo que más importa me parece en ese momento, o en todo momento de la vida, es, es disfrutar, así que esos son los dos sueños que tengo, digamos, a corto y largo plazo. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Santi. Make sure you follow him on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook, which I will link below. He's got a check mark next to his name. <laughs> and um, comment down below what you want to see more of, like an interview with my dad or something like that. And um, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and Gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much, guys. Muchas gracias. Follow Tiffany. Nice girl. Professional swimmer would be can be concerned. So <laughs> don't miss this broadcast, and uh, he's gonna go have more uh, good interviews with more people. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.